morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I would like to present before you how we work or how we uh, try to make a jackfruit into a, in a really really yummy curry. Now we are talking about a jackfruit and this is a tender jackfruit. We need to be very careful that the jackfruit doesn't have any seeds being formed here and it's supposed to be uh, something that's really it has a lot of benefits like it in fact helps you prevent wrinkles that's really a beauty secret for all girls i guess and we also talk about it as something that has the benefit of curing indigestion or we're talking about helping cure acne and many others like also in fact uh, it talks about uh, you it also cures your mental health and is also good for your hair and your eyesight. Now when we are talking about working with the jackfruit, the tender jackfruit, it is a long process. I'll show you from the beginning how we go about and make this particular vegetable a wonderful recipe which is yummy and it's as tasty as any mutton. You know, it's something like uh, a non-vegetarian can associate it with a mutton curry if you're talking about making it beautifully in a yummy manner so first thing what I'll do is that I'm going to cut off the first part of this of the jackfruit and let it stay inverted for some time till we have all the juice coming out of it the milky white portion that will come out once we cut off and stand it inverted like this see this is the type of milky substance that will be out so we need to keep this for around 10 minutes or so till everything all the milky sticky portion is out i'm going to keep this like this till all the milky portion comes out and it's completely i mean we have something without this milky portion in a way which is not very tasty i guess so we need to smear the hands with some mustard oil before cutting the jackfruit because and also smear the uh, the instrument with which we are going to cut it. Now this is known as bothi. It's a typical type of cutting instrument which is normally used in Assam and Bengal. And most uh, women here uh, in Assam and Bengal traditionally used to use this bothi because it's very sharp and it's an easy and convenient way of cutting it. Now what we are going to do is that cut off like this long lengthwise and then try to make it into smaller pieces lengthwise and now we are going to scrap off the top portion or the cover there should be no green cover that remains back so this has to be cut off we will repeat this and for all the pieces and in between the long lengthwise we need to cut off the middle the center part of the jackfruit also this way now we will chop down into the sizes that we really want the jackfruit to be the curry of the jackfruit this size normally we have it in our place this is the size yes and this way we will cut up the entire small tender jackfruit in Assam, in fact, when we are talking about the jackfruit, we use it in various manners even the seeds of the jackfruit once it grows ripe first of all we eat the fruit and then we eat the seeds the seeds can be boiled with masoor dal and then we, we just mash it and it's like just like mashed potatoes we ma make mashed seeds of the jackfruit and it and in fact you can also make it like a curry in just like we you make curries with uh, the potatoes we can make a curry of the jackfruit seed as well so this is the way they cut it just to show it again and it's tender therefore the cover the rough cover is coming out very easily right so jackfruit in a way can be seen like uh, a particular dish which is as yummy as any non-vegetarian dish so that's my jackfruit cut and chopped down and clean beautiful pieces there I will also need, say here I have taken around two big uh, potatoes which I have diced very big in fact because both of them have to boil together in a way, cook together so I have kept the pieces a little bigger. Of the dry spices I need quite a few like the basic thing or the basic uh, masala will be the cumin powder. I have taken around here four teaspoons of the cumin powder which is much more in quantity to the coriander powder which is just one teaspoon. I will also need a bay leaf or tej patta and here of course a dry red chili and some grains of sugar 
say 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red mirch and 1 and a half teaspoon of the, uh, this is turmeric or haldi powder. Apart from that I have here in 4 sliced the thin pieces 4 big onions there and 1 small tomato chopped and diced into small pieces and around 10 pods of garlic and an inch of ginger which will be crushed together. Now I will be doing the entire cooking in a mixture of oil which is both a little bit of the vegetable oil and of course more of the mustard oil. So let's start cooking. So I'm putting in say one, two, almost three tablespoons of the mustard oil and say one tablespoon of the vegetable oil. We need a little bit of oil here because we're talking about jackfruit and jackfruit in, in fact soaks up the oil there. Okay, madam. We put in the onions first. And try to fry the onions. So we just we'll try and make a hole here in between and put in the dry red chili and the bay leaf. And now we will put in the Kashmiri red mirch first, then the grains of sugar. After that, we will straight away piss in, put in the turmeric. Now I will put in the cumin powder, the coriander powder and mix it. And that is frying. We will now put in the tomato pieces. And give it a mix. Now I put in the mixture of ginger and garlic paste there. Fry on till the, the smell, the raw smell of the ginger and garlic goes off. So this will fry on for some time and now I will put a little garam masala. Just a pinch of garam masala because it is a homemade masala. It is very strong. That way I have just given a pinch of the garam masala. Now I will put in, because the oil has already separated you can see. The oil is separated from the masala, so I will put in the jackfruit pieces as well as the potatoes and give it a nice fry. Try to mix all the masala with the jackfruit as well as the potatoes. Now we will put in the salt there. Just according to your taste, you put in the soil, keep it in the minimal so that we can always taste for the salt and increase it later if it's less. And now we are going to heat up some oil, uh, sorry, some water or boil up some water because we are going to first of all cover it for some time and later add some water. So this has been cooking on for almost 9-10 minutes now. Let's see how it looks there. Alright, so... These are already fried up in a nice manner and I think little sticking on to the bottom also. Now I'll, I'll use, uh, because one more thing here, the jackfruit takes a long time but you can see that the potatoes have already become, they are cooked. So we'll put in almost a cup of boiling water, it's just around a cup of boiling water because the jackfruit as I said will take a little longer to cook unlike the potatoes and now we will lower the, in medium heat we will cover it up and let it again cook. Let us uncover and see yes it is boiling full boil there so we will just try to give it it is around 7-8 minutes now this has been going on so you can see it takes quite a long time for the uh, you know the, for the jackfruit to really cook up. But uh, there is another way you can put it in the pressure cooker but then it will not be as tasty as when you put it in a curry and cook with all the juices of the, of the jackfruit moving into the curry and making it rich 
uh, with all its nutritional values as well. Therefore, we opt out for out of out of the pressure cooker and choose the karai to make it. Though it takes long, after all, it is a holiday, so we can always have some more time for the curry to have it tastier and more nutritional. So let's cover it as another six seven minutes. This will cook on. So after almost uh, 15 18 minutes this is how it looks okay and so we will look see it's beautifully done up so we're just shutting it down the color itself says that it, it is uh, perfect in terms of the salt but still let me check it okay so check it exactly like you know it's a non-veg dish you know, it seems like a non-veg dish it's so yummy and the salt is perfect and all i need to do is now dish it out and serve this nutritional as well as yummy dish so that's my jackfruit dish for you it's jackfruit fry or you can say it's a what that's my dish for you it's a jackfruit fry with potatoes in the typically Assamese way it's a very important part of Assamese cuisine and we call it Kothal or Torkari or Kothal or Sobji. So I hope you like this recipe of mine. It's something that will really leave a taste in your tongue. I hope you try it out, give it a like button and of course share if you can and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching.